Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's Tech Tip. My name is Hannah. I'm a software specialist here at Structsoft Solutions, and today I'm going to be talking to you about floor joist stiffeners in MWF. For today, I'm going to be using Revit 2023, uh, but you'll find this tool available in ProSuite and in ProMetal. This tool is not available for ProWood. The steps that will be taken for, uh, for this tool is first we have to create marker lines, and then we're going to apply the stiffener tool uh, to the marker lines. Okay, I'm going to jump into the 3D. Okay, and this is what we're trying to achieve. We have a floor panel. I've added uh, this uh, family for the stiffeners for this panel in this particular manner. And here are the marker lines uh, that are used to apply this tool. So let's recreate this from scratch. I will just untick the section box. I'm going to recreate it right here. Just going to make a selection. Click on BX on my keyboard. And I'll just modify the scope box. I will select the floor. I will go to Pro Suite. I'm in the floor module and I will click on create. I will select a generic a template, the light gauge template. I will click on frame it now and click on create. Okay, I'm not going to make any changes. You can go into the properties and make changes, but I won't do that for today. What I will do is I will add marker lines. And here in this new build, you're going to find the tools related to marker lines in here. Where it says markers, you're going to find these three tools right here. So these have been moved. They previously used to exist here. I will show you really quick where to find this if you're using a previous build. You'll have to find them under tools. So here they are. These are the three uh, tools related to marker lines. They have been moved here. Let's go ahead and create marker lines. So I'm only going to need one. So I'm just going to use equal spacing with max distance. I will just keep it as is. Nine feet is the default. That's what I'm going to use. And that's it. If I wanted to apply the joist stiffener tool, I can do that. So I can click on uh, the options and I'll get this menu. But I'm not going to do that right now. I will come back to this in a little bit. So I'm just going to click on it. And there is our marker line. So if you see here under properties, this is a regular Revit line. But this regular Revit line is actually populated with MWF information. So when I click on it here and I go to Pro Suite, and if I click on properties, I'm going to get this very small menu. I can use the marker line tool to add uh, bridging types. I'm not going to do that for today. I can also use whole series. So you can use these um, in addition to using stiffeners, but you just have to be careful. Uh, what you're trying to, trying to achieve needs to be um, applicable and clash free, but I will not cover this for today. Um, I will just click here to enable the stiffener options, and this is going to uh, be able to be clicked. If it's not, you'll notice it's grayed out. So I'm going to click on options. The selected option that I'm going to cover for today is just here. So I'm going to place a stiffener on the inside of the stud. I'm going to use the stud family. So it's going to be a, an S column of my choice that you will have to preload. Um, I'm not going to be using these. Uh, these would be used in conjunction with these options here, the joist stiffener. Joy stiffener with outside stud, joy uh, stiffener with both studs. I will not be covering these, uh, but these would be uh, here. Uh, you would ch choose your family for that one from here and the stiffener length. So I'm just going to stick to this one, the stud family. These two right here, these two uh, ticks, this will invert at panel start. I'm going to keep this ticked and this would invert at panel end. I'm going to keep this ticked as well. I'm just going to click on OK. And OK again. And I'm not going to be seeing any results yet until I regenerate. OK. And the tool has been applied just like 
I requested, it has flipped it on this side. And if I don't want these members at the beginning or at the end, all I need to do is move the like marker line like this. So this little blue dot, I would just have to move it a little bit. And then the stiffeners are going to follow the location of um, this marker line. So it disappeared from here and from here. And this is the result. So that's it for today's tech tip. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening, everyone.